So we're now up to the professional mixed martial arts here at Adrenaline Fight Night. Charlie Ward, SBG in the blue. Gareth Williams from Chris Reese Academy in the red. And the bright, distinctive yellow shorts and big left-right combination. Both men throwing heavy leather straight away. Heavy shots at 84k here. And then Ward looked for the single leg. Big knee in there. Williams still throwing the heavy shots. Both men have landed cleanly. Wasted no time whatsoever. And both men have got through cleanly as well. Then again, Ward looked for the shoot. Williams not allowing it. Then finally, Ward gets where he wants to be. Looking to posture up now, Ward, so that he can lay the ground and pound. Working the right hand. Williams pulling him in tight, locking up the arms. His elbows can come down as well. Ward looking to get that forearm working. Williams looking to tie him up, still keep him tight. Ward working that head into his opponent, getting up so he can posture up. Get that little bit of space between them. And Williams trying to make sure that space doesn't occur. Looking to keep his man tight. The referee looking very closely. And here Ward looking to pop free as you can see to posture up. Getting that head working on Williams to distract him as well. To create that little bit of space he needs. Ward got the benefit of being right in his own corner as he does this work. And again, the left arm of Ward working the body of Williams. William, as you can see, looking to move free here. Ward continuing to work that head to posture up with that left hand. Looking to free that right, you can see Williams looking to pull him in tight again as Ward does free that right arm. Not much got through cleanly, good defensive work from Williams here. Ward the aggressor, there's the downward chopping elbow that can be so dangerous if he creates that space. And you can see with the back of his foot there, the back of his heel, Williams working the back of Ward. And there's the downward elbow again from Ward. Ward knows what he wants to do. He's dropped the elbow twice. Postures up again to get that right hand going. Not too much damage taken by Williams so far. There's been a frustrating round for him. Short little right hand from Williams. Looks for his own elbow to create the slightest bit of space. Ward relentless in his pursuit now. And now you can see Williams trying to free up space for the elbow to the shoulder blades of Ward. Does it again onto the collarbone. Tight work from both men here. And again, looking to work those shoulders of Ward when he free space for the downward elbow.
Good defensive work turning it into offence from Gareth Williams. And there's the bell. Tough, tough round for both men. Lots of work in a tight, tight space. And Williams did well defensively there. Both men cut. They're not bad, but they're both cut. So both men showing the scars of battle. And they're ready for round two of three now. And they start upright once more. It was Ward initiated the takedown after the initial stand-up. Williams did well off his back, especially with the downward elbows. And again, both men looking for these heavy shots. Williams loosening up now. Oh, looks for the right hand over the top. Ward responds immediately. Nice stiff jab from Williams as he pushes forward. And again, it's Ward that looks for the initial shoot. Short kick as Williams comes forward. Williams light on his toes, good boxing here. Low kick as well on the end of that one. Probing the midsection ward. Again, the jab snakes out from Williams. Then the short right and the jab again, and Ward is out of range with his replies. Good boxing from both, and they acknowledge both land with the jab clean. What sportsmanship. Williams pushing forward now. You wonder when Ward will shoot again, but he feels he has to set it up this round. And again, stiff left and right. Good exchange, and Williams moves out the way now. Beginning to dominate the stand-up. Superb right hand. Well, straight on to the cut. The eye bruise as well, but then suddenly Ward lands with a crashing blow of his own. Wow. And then... Williams with another big right hand the crowd loving this it's toe to toe the cut opening wide on the cheek of Charlie Ward now bleeding freely this is a war of attrition between these two men and it's staying upright this round oh and the right hand again as he slips and the stiff left jab from Williams and the right again is really accurate on the left hand side of the face of Ward and it's showing the rewards for him the eye is swelling, the cheek is open and Williams is just slipping and throwing that right and finally Ward looks to tie up but they're slipperier now there's more sweat on them, there's more shins, it's going to be harder for him but that said, he's still got a solid right hand and he's clipped Gareth Williams twice with it now he looks for the double leg and finally takes his man down. Two heavy shots from him were negated by the sheer work rate from Gareth Williams. And again, looking for those elbows in defence as Ward looks to work him. A lot more slippery now, the two of them. Not so easy to do your clean work anymore. Looking to posture up and get that head in the game, Ward looking to drop those elbows down. As you can see, Williams replies immediately with his own elbows. And again, every opportunity he gets, he drops that elbow there. Referee looking very carefully where those elbows are landing. The left hand of Ward starting to work now as well as he looks the right hand as well. Ward looking to work his man hard. Williams looks to tie him up. And then drop the elbows once more. Ward looking to get that leverage. And get those heavy shots in. As he does again there. And Williams again, every opportunity to respond. Looks for that chopping elbow in retaliation. Good work here though from Ward. 
And then again the retaliatory elbows from Williams when he creates just that little bit of space. Ward not really got one of those clean telling shots through that can make this ground and pound really work in his favour. So we're inside the last 10 seconds. And not a great deal of clean work from Ward despite the ascendancy. And you feel the upright work earlier from Williams for a large percentage of the round is what sway the judges in this one. Did well defensively when Ward took him down and got him working in his own corner, but you feel on the upright part of the fight in this second round, Williams was dominant. Charlie Ward, it was hit consistently in that second round. It would be a real shame if it is over because of it, but it is wide. Or saying, I'm not hurt, I'm not hurt. He's saying, is it all right? Desperate to continue. It's been an absolute war, this one. Medic saying, it's okay to continue. Wow. So they're ready to go for round three. And here they go for the third and final round. It's been so hard and hurtful this one. And again, both men, good boxing technique. And Williams landed far more shots in the second, but two solid right hands from Ward rocked him. And there's that movement again from Williams when he boxes. Keeps the head moving, slips to throw his own shots. And that jab is a winner for him. Works the body as well now. Light on his toes, still moving. Exchange of leg kicks and an exchange of jabs. Low kick from Ward countered by the right hand of Williams. And Williams pops out his own jab. There's the right hand again. He's dangerous, is Ward with that right hand as he pushes forward. Oh, and this time Williams is a whisker away with his own big right. He slips, throws the jab, then the right afterwards. Both men bloodied. And there's the heavy shots again. And Ward is again the one that goes for the takedown, but a better sprawl this time from Williams. Then the big slam from Ward. Again, back in his own corner. Got a lot of time to be able to work as well. Now, as we saw in the previous rounds, Williams works from his back with those elbows. Ward tries to create space to drop the bombs. He never landed cleanly on Gareth Williams in the second, enough to really get a rhythm going and a possible ground and pound stoppage. And you wonder how much is left in the tank here in the third for that to happen. Following a very similar pattern to the second round here. And again, Williams looking to tie his man up tight. Referee going to bring them back up. Did enough there, Williams. I felt that here in the third, the energy wouldn't be there to really get a sustained ground and pound attack from Ward. Great sportsmanship from these two, though. That right just misses from Ward again. And the low kick from Ward. The right hand lands on the cut again from Williams. 
skips away from the right hand counter and again as Ward keeps throwing that right and they both just miss once more and then banging away together and it's a matter of a slightest miscalculation and one of these men could be hit very cleanly indeed and Ward looking to go back to ground once more these takedowns the judges will see these two good solid takedowns in this round But again, Williams has done a good job when he's been on the ground of negating the damage. And he's doing the same here, so our referee looking very closely again. I said they're even sweatier now it's even harder and you can see Ward desperate to posture up once more and get that space to drop the bombs bit of daylight between them pushes in again Williams keeping that head moving keeping those arms constantly working Both men tired now, it's been a lot of hard, hard effort here. Williams isolating the left arm of Ward. Looked for the lock, didn't quite get it there. The corner thought it was on. And he goes again, Williams. As I said, both men really, really sweaty now. tough one, what a war, heart 